are here at we are. EGX Rest Saturday alone. I know, just it's me just and you, weird. just it's the weird. two of us. You. Oh. What do you think? It's been good. It's been good. There's been, been some right. interesting games. Yeah, I think close to the sun is probably the most. Yeah, accomplished looking game I've seen. It's a very so polished game. And Snooker 19 actually Obviously was, Snooker was, pretty, was pretty slick. Is probably slick. the best slick. Snooker game. Um, but I will be buying 19. So you're definitely going to get, you're going to put get, the money down. I'm going to get 19, A, because I'm a sucker for Snooker games. Yep. Graphically it looks very nice. Yep. You, you were it saying that. Very sh if you just glanced at the screen and didn't know, you might yeah. think you, you were just think looking at a, 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 like a real Snooker game. But like game. I said, it's very easy to do shiny balls. It, they are very shiny though. And they are very fucking shiny. Uh, well, we got to. I am starting to get hungry. Yes, yeah, like we got to crack food. on and do some graft. We do. Let's do it. Let's do it. Holly from Ripstone. Now, Holly, I'm a massive snooker fan. It's a bit of an in-joke on the podcast, right? Okay. That uh, I'm a big fan of snooker. So what, what's changed since the last one? Yeah, so obviously now we're working in Unreal Engine, which gives us the opportunity to make the game look absolutely beautiful. So that's we, new? Yeah, I mean, okay. so the last game was 2011, right? right. Things have moved on a lot from... From Just where we bit. were in 2011. Yeah. So yeah, we've got like true to life players. We head scanned, I think, near to 100 of the pro players. The team at Lab 42 have built a bespoke physics engine that plugs into Unreal. So yeah. the physics are, again, as real as we've ever seen in a snooker simulation. Okay. Um, we've got online tournaments that run in real time with the real World Snooker Tour. So when the World Championships start on the 20th of April, you, you can, can jump play. in. You yeah, can play. Yeah, ah, yeah. I'm talking to Matt here from Archway Interactive, Hello. Uh, EGX Res this year, so tell us a little bit about your game. Um, so this is Meridian Line, it's a first person navigational thriller uh, set on an underground rail network in London. And basically the idea is that he plays a girl called Alice, whose brother's an urban explorer. So he's, uh, his passion is to go into the underground and explore all of the abandoned tube stations and the ghost stations and kind of all the, the maintenance tunnels and all the all the really weird and interesting bits of the London Underground that you normally don't get to see. I'm uh, super interesting. I love, I love the look of it. I think mean, it's great. So let me, let me ask you, playing the game, how long will it take to finish then? What's the sort of play through? At the minute, we're, we're, we're thinking probably it's going to be like a four to five hour experience. Maybe. Right. <laughs> Hello, I'm with Joel. Uh, so do you want to tell us who you are and about your game? Sure, I'm Joel Hockelax. I'm a game designer for Stormland Hiccup. We've made Close to the Sun. Okay, so tell me a bit about the game. What's it all about? So imagine a world in which Nikola Tesla was massively successful. A world in which he did not get screwed over by Edison. Where all of Nikola Tesla's ingenuity, all of his genius, all of his creativity came to full fruition. So things like the death ray, things like free energy transmitted wireless through the air, uh, all of these things that he aspired to has come for real. Joel, it looks amazing. I mean, I've yeah. got to say, it's hugely polished. I mean, it looks Thank fantastic. You. Plays well, and the uh, the voice acting is really, really yeah, good. Yeah, the voice acting is great. Uh, we're we're super thrilled with the voice acting of uh, uh, Tesla himself and the uh, player character Rose. I'll be honest, if I was if I was playing this, I wouldn't think it was an indie game.
we found the best queue in the whole place. It's quite a small one. It's, well. it's a co it's the queue for the coffee. Oh my god. Stuart Fowler. Yes, Mike Chin. <laughs> we just played Dreams. We did. The weird thing is, I played Dreams creative mode. Yeah, and I just played the play mode. Yeah. So the creative mode, the, the mode that I played was very strange. Yeah, did you, not, did you not like it then? Did you think it was not very well, good? It, like, it, it, the, most of what I played was a tutorial, to be honest. Yeah, but that's what it was meant to be, creative mode. It was meant to show you how to create I know, something. but like, it literally said, this is a controller yeah. This is what a button is. Yeah. Here's how you move. Yeah. And by the time I got to like, oh, I'm actually moving something. Went, time's up. Got time's up. Get the fuck out. Um, but what I was like, I was moving some stairs. Yeah. Right? And it was so difficult to do. I did see that you was you were struggling was, to position was, them. It was tough. In, in, you were meant to position them in an outline that was, was already preset for you yeah, to do it, wasn't it? Was, it? it was tough. Like close to the sun's probably been the best thing I've seen here today. Oh, it's Snooker 19. Oh, Snooker. Uh, do you know? That you've got to say Snooker 19 was good. It was polished. It's, I mean, it's the it's the game of the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah Snooker 19 <laughs> and close to the. And sun. it was the first close thing. To, to it first was the first two, thing. First two games first we two played. Games. We, we 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 peaked very early. We did. Um, we did. I think we're going to do a little bit more exploring. I tell you what else we did did play though. That was that was pretty cool. That balloon game was good. You enjoyed that. I like the balloon. You enjoyed that. No, but you did. Come on. Yeah, what I do like about it is you've got your developers right behind you. So you can come. But the problem with that is when the game's shit, yeah. you're just like, oh, fuck, they're behind me. So I've come off a game going, that's wank. And the developer's there. And he's yeah. just like, I've spent three what years. What do you think? That was I amazing. I've spent, I've spent three years on that. I know, yeah. So yeah. What have I done with my life? Yeah. I mean, the change game was all right. My wife left me. <laughs> I've got no money left. Oh, look, the change game. He was nearly homeless after his first game. I'll tell you what I do want to play, actually. Go on. I would like to play the, the Goose game. Let's try that. Yeah, let's try the, let's goose, try game. the goose game. The Untitled Goose Game. The Untitled Goose Game looks Let's kind of a lot go. of fun. All right. Well, do you, anything you want to say to the millions of people watching? Nope. You need to trim your nose hair. I know. Do you know my wife said that the other day? Yeah. Yeah, sort that out. All right. Aren't you glad you watched this EGX Res video? Yeah. Now, now that you know that Stu needs to trim his nose there. Okay, okay. we're nose going there. We're going to play a few more games. Yes, then we're going to fuck off. Yeah. And go home and get some go sleep. Home. And right. food. Bye. Uh... Done. We are done. Did you enjoy it? I did. There we go, EGX rest, yep. tobacco dock, done. Do you know what? This is probably the first time yeah. we have ever been to one of these things and not met anybody. Anybody? Nobody. It's very weird. Even the very first one we did in 2009, yeah. we, we met, met somebody. But this time, no one. No. no one knows who we are. Not a person. We're almost like normal people. Norms were oh, norms. God. It was a good show. So I hope you enjoyed the video and all that shit. Yes, uh, of course. Yeah. Subscribe and all that. Yeah, subscribe, Wank. man. It's cool.